Today we're gonna talk about some unresolved mysteries in physics that even the smartest scientists can't figure out. Like why is gravity so weird? Or what's dark matter really made of? And why there is no such thing as the singularity of a black hole? Why Einstein might be wrong about black holes? Why the universe is missing antimatter? Is everything we see today has come into existence due to the missing of this antimatter? Stick around and let's explore these unsolved physics mysteries together. Is the singularity of a black hole real? Black holes really challenge our understanding of physics, especially the region of infinite density at its center known as singularity. Traditionally, we thought of these singularities as points where everything, including the laws of physics, breaks down. But there's this cool concept, the theory of loop quantum gravity, LQG. It tries to merge general relativity with quantum mechanics. According to LQG, space-time isn't smooth, but made of indivisible chunks. When applied to black holes, singularity might actually be a gateway or tunnel, possibly leading to another universe or a different region of our own. This idea also provides a potential solution to the black hole information loss paradox, indicating that information might not be lost, but could pass through this quantum tunnel. But wait a minute, what if I tell you that singularity may not exist in reality? Recently, Dr. Roy Kerr claimed that there is no such thing as black hole singularity and has challenged Einstein's general theory of relativity. As per Einstein's theory, black holes are rotating on its axis with everything attracting towards at a central point known as singularity. But Dr. Roy says that it was based on wrong assumption, that all the black holes are stationary, which is not possible. Just think about it. How black holes are formed when a huge star explodes, right? And as per the law of conservation of momentum, any rotating or moving body will keep on moving unless an external pressure has been applied to it. And because of this black hole should also move and rotate, if this is true, then everything attracted towards black holes will never fall inside at the center of it but rather it would keep rotating at black hole's horizon to its infinity. It's kind of a rotational singularity. Isn't it interesting? Until now, so much we know about black holes might not be completely true. Now, there is another mystery which often confuses many of us. It's about arrow of time. There is a common property of the universe known to move from order to disorder. We usually call it entropy. Now the truth is that the arrow of time and entropy are deeply intertwined. It is very obvious why time seems to flow in one direction from the past to the future. Actually, this aligns with our experience. We remember the past, but not the future. And we can influence the future events, but not the past ones. Like we can never make a broken egg to go back to its original shape. But more research indicates that time is like our space. Like how in space you can't move right, left, up, or down. Similarly, time can never be just moving forward. It can even go in reverse direction. This is one of the unsolved mysteries in physics. Some ideas suggest that time is nothing but the event to capture disorder in the universe. Baryonic asymmetry, imbalance between matter and antimatter. Now there is one more unresolved mystery. Have you ever got curious how our universe ended up with way more matter than antimatter? Every matter you see or know today, including us, is all possible due to the missing of antimatter. Scientists predict that the Big Bang should have created the same amount of matter and antimatter. But if that were true, all the matter and antimatter would have destroyed each other. That would mean there wouldn't be any matter in the universe to create stars, planets, or people. Baryonic asymmetry is the curious case of why our universe has more matter than antimatter. Theoretically, the Big Bang should have produced equal amounts of both, but that's not what we see. Here's the crux. 
Standard physics says, in particle reactions, the number of heavy particles like protons and neutrons stays the same. But our universe tells a different story. It's loaded with matter and hardly any antimatter. So scientists came up with theories like baryogenesis. They think right after the Big Bang, certain processes might have favored matter over antimatter. They even proposed exotic particles, like X bosons, to explain this. But it's not a closed case yet. These theories predict things like proton decay, which we haven't observed. Then there's this concept called CP symmetry. It's about the laws of physics being the same for a particle and its mirror image antiparticle. If CP symmetry held up perfectly, we'd expect a balanced universe with equal matter and antimatter. But experiments show this symmetry can be broken, hinting at why matter might have the upper hand. Despite these insights, we're still in the dark about the real reason behind this imbalance. It's a puzzle that ties together particle physics, the rules of thorough dynamics, and the early universe's story, solving that could change our understanding of everything from tiny particles to the vast cosmos. Struggle to form a theory of everything. You see, the theory of everything in physics is a big deal. The ultimate goal is to connect all physics parts into one neat package. Right now, we use two main theories. General relativity, which is great at explaining big things like planets and galaxies, and quantum field mechanics, which is awesome for tiny things like atoms and particles. But they clash when we try to use them together in extreme places like black holes or the very start of the universe. Hence, we need a theory which fits in every scenario. That's why scientists have looked at some ideas like string theory, which says everything is made of super tiny vibrating strings. These strings vibrations might be the key to understanding everything in physics. Besides this, there are huge mysteries like dark matter, which we can't see, but we know it's there, which is making the universe expand faster. But proving string theory is really tough, and we didn't get any solid evidence for many years. So scientists have come up with another theory called exceptionally simple theory of everything. We also know it as E8. This theory describes all elementary particles and their interactions, including gravitation, as quantum excitations of a single lie group geometry. This theory basically says that small pixels like particles make this entire cosmos similar to how combinations of pixels make visible the TV screens. This theory is simpler as it doesn't need 11 dimensions like string theory. Rather, it only needs eight dimensions. But there is still a lot more to understand in this universe beyond these theories. We're still researching to find that one theory that fits best in the law of physics in every scenario, including black holes. It's like the universe has its own secret code, and we're still trying to crack it. What do you think about these mysteries? Got any wild theories or ideas? Drop them in the comments. We love hearing from you. Thanks for joining us on this curious journey. Thanks for watching.